Oh my gosh, welcome back to the broadcast. We're back with our guest, Vicki Hitzkitz, author of the book, Stuff on, Stuck on Stop. Uh, we're talking about procrastination, and, and I, Lisa joined because she said she's a horrible procrastinator. I did. I said, i got to pull up a chair and talk to you about this, because not only am I a horrible procrastinator, but I've given birth to procrastinators. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, like, helped, you know, grow this whole society of procrastination. But what I wanted to ask you is, how do you... How do you change your mindset from, because I'm with, I'm with Susie in that it, it, um, it, first of all, gives me anxiety to be early places. I don't like being early. It, I'm more comfortable being late, which is horrible. And I get bored if I get something done too early. So how do you change your mindset? Oh, I'm, I'm not early. This book is not about how to be early. <laughs> Hey, well, early. It, kind of goes hand in, it, it goes hand in hand, right? I mean, I, I procrastinate because I'll be, you know, I know know that I need to go get in the car and leave, but oh, there's just one more thing I got to do, like I'll put it off. So, how do you change your mindset? Well, I can just tell you, I did not want to be mediocre, and I, I, I just, I lay, I lay in bed one night. Truly, I was a kid. I lay in bed and I thought, I, I hate my life. I'm not practicing my piano. I'm not practicing voice. <laughs> the world lost a great musician, <laughs> a vocalist, and and I, I just switched. And now, if I get an assignment, I, I've just made up my mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it now. And I'll, usually, and I bet this is true of you, Lisa, people don't procrastinate because they're lazy. They usually procrastinate because they're perfectionists. And they're often perfectionists because they're afraid. They, they want to be sure their work is excellent. And if they wait, they have a built-in excuse. They didn't have enough time. Mm. That's, oh, interesting. that's interesting. That's interesting. That's very interesting. If, like, in my inner psyche, that's what I'm thinking. Because usually it, it's it's like an adrenaline rush for me. Like all through school, it was you know leave it to the last minute. Like last minute, Lisa, you know leave it to the last minute, and and I could bang out a paper and and you know get a good grade on it, mm -hmm. and it gave me a sense of accomplishment because I like defied the odds and I got it done at the last minute. But it's a little bit of an adrenaline rush, but that's not the way to live life, is it? Oh, I don't think it is. I think it's a horrible way to live <laughs> well, life. Especially if you're procrastinating in everything. Then everything is piling up. Mm -hmm. And that's when the nerves set in and you feel overwhelmed because you've got so much to do. You don't now know how you can get it all done in time. How about teaching our children? How do we teach our children not to procrastinate? Well, I think kids learn so much by example. Yeah. I was tickled this when you said I procrastinate <laughs> and, and I've, I've raised or I've mm -hmm. given birth to procrastinators. Oh, I've probably seen that in you. Um, my parents are not procrastinators. And I, I think one reason that C bothered me so much is they're both very accomplished, as, as are you. My dad would watch television and do sit-ups, <laughs> and so I, I learned that from him. So if if you start doing things early, they'll start doing things. You early. learn by example. Yeah, you really yeah, do. You well, you know, it's funny because I I will try to tell you know my oldest who's going to be 21 soon. He's in college, and and I'll say you know you really shouldn't leave this to the last minute. Let me tell you why. This is what I learned about it, and like I'll, I'll try to impart some sort of wisdom on him, some horrible story about how I failed at something or I didn't get the job I wanted or something because I procrastinated. So I try to share stories, but I I think you're right. It's it's more like it's example what you do, yeah, and especially. If you're putting off something that you're afraid of doing, uh -huh. that causes something that goes into your gut. It goes it into lasts, it. It does. It, you can't sleep at night. But you, you feel can't so do, much better when you get it done. When you get it That's done. The great and then feeling. you say at that time, oh my gosh, look what happened when I do it on time. Yeah. The book is called, you, <clears throat> this is called Stuck on Stop. It's a very uh, wonderfully a uh, compiled book in that it's almost a manual. And if you've got a teenager or you've got somebody in your family that wants to change, this is the book you need to get. And you can pick up a copy of Vicki's book on Amazon.com and we've set up a link for you on our page. So if you can't start the day without your Starbucks, stick around because when the broadcast returns, we're showing you some amazing art you might see the next time you get a vanilla latte. Ooh. <laughs>